guys we are fixing back this computer i show you how to fast and furious you can do it but you should have to remember where you have you remove the screws same size you have to put back all screws this is called professional hands that is uh, uh, fixing the computers because uh, we are doing every day this work that's why we remember what screw we remove and from where we remove it so let i'm showing you showing you this video because to remind you also how to uh, remind the things how to keep it back how to put it back the screws and one one time two time three time you open or maybe 10 time you open the screws and from a laptop then you remember you will remember you will remember the size and uh, the thickness of the screws that you will remember and this is our keyboard how we was uh, open we sh we are going to fix it back same condition this is the keyboard jack should have to put back and clip it from on black uh, slide uh, clip that you have to turn in and that is fixed that is clipped in so this is the bottom side you can see the rays uh, the small clips that is go inside and put like this and little bit push it's give you sound that, like tick like this so this is on top is a closed so bottom side now is a screw place we are going to put back all the screws one by one this is the keyboard screws that we are closing back we are closing back This is a long screws. This is a long screws for the keyboard. Remember it. The medium size for the other casing body body side. Okay. The second thing that was uh, you have to remember. You should back put back the should put back the jacks that you was removed, and we are fixing back we plug in back we have to hold with the tweezer with a nice way and on the top side you have to put on the properly and push inside and this jack will sit on my on exact seat you can see how we was removed it sit back properly that's it this is your professionality when you do the work with your clean hand and with the look like professionals I'm actually professional I'm doing this job last 20 years, more than 20 years I have the experience in my field. In 1995 I was start learning in electronics. I was simply a technician, uh, start by the tape recorder and uh, uh, some of the cassette recorder, radios and uh, the old type of TVs I was start learning from them from uh, that TVs and that parts and now I am today is a computer specialist. this is the wireless card that uh, we fix it back exactly same place and the side uh, bottom of the CD ROM place there's uh, some screws the small size that I am going to put back you can see it exact same place one by one we have to put back the three screws we was removed and I put back again these screws you can see guys this is the small head there's a two type of screws you can see one is a 4a size big and 4a size small there's a two type of screws so this is the small screwdriver you can use for this one and this is the big 4a size this one you can use for the big screwdriver big screws so this is a very important thing that you have to remember don't use the wrong screwdriver for the screws if you use on top the head will slip and your screwdriver also will be get a problem later on opening time and your screws also will be spoiled on the head so that is the problem you will face in the later on in the future but you should use the proper exact instrument for the repairing and screwdrivers so this is a very important part if you have a complete uh, instruments and you are the half technician that is the technical thing that I'm going to tell you uh, 
you should have a proper instruments that you are doing work uh, equivalent parts equivalent screwdrivers equivalent cheese the things that you should have to use okay this all is closed we are closing back it's uh, one by one all parts is the wireless card and the sorry a remote for the dvd so we are going to put back it in his own place this is uh, a cd on cover here is a small uh, piece of the part bottom side there's a cover of the jacks and we put it back and uh, the next is a top uh, covers that we are going to put it back again uh, sorry one of the jack i put here okay this is the jack that we was uh, remove out and we put it back again this is the hard drive jack because the customer didn't put the hard drive inside because maybe he have the, some important data that's why he keep out keep out the hard drive we put back all the covers exactly how we remove out this is a very simple and easy way yeah i know i can understand when you first time open you open the laptop or you remove the screws and many things it's quite difficult for you to remember it back how to put back the things that's why uh, easy way for you when you repair you remove out you make a small video to for your remembering this is for your memories for uh, remembering you will remember the things where you remove and where you have to put back so that is the best idea best way and uh, i'm going to back the close back all the screws put back tight it you check one by one all screws is put back and it's uh, tight back okay here's the need the small screwdriver i missed it okay i got it all right tight 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 last screw in here that is uh, the big screwdriver can I go in so we have to use this one to fix it back see ladies and gentlemen all the screws are put back and properly exact same place the last screw in here that we are going to put back in okay this is the one okay that's all Okay, one more hair screws. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the laptop. You can see how we was open. Exactly same. We are closed back. We closed back it properly, and we are going to check it. This is power jack. We on it. Switch fan is working. You have the sound fan sound. And the second flick, you can see the display also. The AMD a little bit slow display up here. Okay, the HP models, escape change boot holders, F10 for the setup and F11 for the system recoveries. So this is the guys that I want to show you the easy way how to repair it the laptop. Thank you very much. This is the video. Hope you will like it and uh, you comment on my video and uh, vote on that. I will share with you more experience that i have in the new table and new technical table i will show you uh, next videos and i will show you some latest laptops how to repair how to easy way to change the parts and uh, component level motherboard level how to repair that thank you very much bye bye